What do you do when you squat with a twist? So what does that look like? As I come down, I might look pretty symmetrical. And then as I come up and I have to start resisting the load or overcoming the load, that is the barbell on my back, I might twist myself like this. Okay, you'll see that in a lot of sports, in a lot of max effort attempts, and in a lot of different lifters. It's very common. So what happens there? Well, our bodies are naturally asymmetrical and we get better, uh, stronger positions out of certain asymmetrical stances. So most often people like to be turned over onto their right side a little bit. They like to use this right inner thigh a little bit and this left glute a little bit. They also like to shut off the right glute, shut off the right inner thigh. So in doing that, as I come down here, I'm thinking about this exercise, right? And I don't want to be, I don't want to collapse under the load. So I'm setting up and I'm like headlights pointed forward. Okay, I'm going for a max effort squatting attempt. I'm probably not narrating it as I go through this, but I'm used to this lift and I just look forward and I go down. And now since it's max effort, I'm overcoming a load that is my maximum, right? It's the most that I could possibly do at this point. And so sometimes I don't have the ability to overcome that load without changing the pressures in my body and the positions that my body is in, the position of my hip joint, knee, whatever. I need to find a way to load my muscles in a way that they are good at contracting and producing force and getting me through this max effort attempt. So I might come down symmetrically, but then as I have to overcome that load, that's when I start to twist like this. And you'll see a lot of people will finish with the bar twisted and then they'll come back and then they can rack it in the rack or they can put the bar back down. So what's going on here? When I see this, the first thing, the biggest thing that I will address is right here. Because every time I see this, it's starting right here and I'm turning this way. The lifters will always turn to the right. I, I haven't seen someone turn to the left. I'm not saying it's not possible. I just haven't seen this midsection point leading its way to the left as I come out of my squat, right? Because I think that with the asymmetry in our body, we are not going to be stronger that way. We are going to be stronger this way. So what I would look for is what part of your body is doing the twisting. So what level here? Oftentimes, since this midsection is basically the most flexible part of your body, that's where it's going to come from. So as I come up, that's where I have to produce more tightness so I don't cave over and I can get more tightness out of doing it asymmetrically. So the fix, if I notice that it's right here and I notice that I'm turning to the right, let's talk about the anatomy a little bit. Let's just say front anatomy and back anatomy, okay? So if I turn this way, the backside that is, the backside on this side is pushing me away, okay? So this back is tight, this back is loose. It might feel tight, but it's not contracting to the same degree. It's not shortening the same amount. This side is getting really short. This side is getting really long. And the opposite is true. This is getting long. This is getting short. So big first cue that I might try. I want you to exhale before you go. I want you to turn this just like you're winding up a clock. I want it. So let's say you're pointing at 12 o'clock and usually you end up pointing at two o'clock, I want you to point over here at 10 o'clock, okay? And just hang on to that. Do you feel your left abdominal? If you don't, hold, <sighs> exhale again, reach again. Oh, squeeze, yes, now I got it. Okay, hang on to that abdominal, do your squat, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it, come back up. Biggest thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to slow down because otherwise you won't be able to feel it. You have to slow down and you'll probably have to limit the weight. You'll have to retrain this and then gradually progress yourself so that you are up to the weights that you are using where these, these maximal loads are uh, preventing you from 
keeping that symmetry during your squat. So recap, squat down, I'm shifting, back is tight, other side is loose. You're going to need to tighten the loose side and loosen the tight side, okay? There might be some other reaching activities we could try, there might be some other exercises you could try. There is definitely some exercises you can try that I've listed here in my uh, YouTube channel. So peruse if you want. Um, but until then, just if you understand the anatomy, you'll know how to address it. You know what muscles to address.